In this video, you're going to learn a simple method for creating walk animations. So this is Lumber, a wood chopping dwarf, who is doomed to stay in this position forever because he can't walk. <laughs> I said if this video got 5,000 likes, we'd save him, and despite all the non-believers, you actually did it. So let's make him walk so he can finally take the wood back to his village. <laughs> we start with two contact positions, where the leading foot makes contact with the floor. We add in a pass-in position in between. As you can see, the contact foot is straight here, which elevates the position of the head and hips. We have the down position before the passing position. This is where the walk really gets that sense of weight from the contact leg bending. And the final position to add is the up position. The contact leg here is pushing off the floor, further elevating the position of the head and hips. To add in the arms, there are some key points you can use. So the arm swing will be the widest in the down position, and the arms will be alongside the body in the passing position. Remembering that in a standard walk, the arms will swing opposite to the legs. So when the right leg is forwards, the right arm will be swinging backwards. And to complete this eight frame cycle, we just copy over the down, passing and up positions, making sure to flip the arms and legs. Nice! Now we know how to create a very standard walk animation. Notice how the head moves up and down in an arc. All of the animation principles will apply here. If you want to learn about the animation principles, check out this video I made. This is really just a starting point. A walk can really define the personality of your character. And from this starting point, you can adjust the poses to better match that personality. I would definitely recommend this book that the standard walk breakdown is from. It has over 70 pages of walks alone. Let's use some video game logic to hide the axe and the wood. It, it's in his inventory. It's just just hidden. I always split the body into parts to focus on each section separately. Once it's split, we draw in the poses. The contact, passing, down, up, copy and paste these, and then flip. Nice! Now we got the legs working. Notice as well how I define the back leg by putting it in shadow. I find that this can really help making the action more clear. Now we just animate the head's position to match the body. Once that's done, I animate the features of the head using the 12 principles of animation. Seriously! This video will help. So now it's just the arms. And Lumbar's arms are very simple. They're not even connected to his body. I do the hands in the down positions first, where I know they're going to be at their widest. And then I just fill in the rest. And there we go. He can walk. And it's all because you saved it. <laughs> you really thought it would be that easy? <laughs> 5,000 likes, we'll go get that dragon.